Hello, welcome back to another Red Ted Art Craft basic series. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pom-pom maker using cardboard and some glasses as measures. Now I'm going to start and whilst I'm starting I'm going to talk to you about how to do it but we want to be quick and into the project. Remember we have lots of other crafts here on Red Ted Art. These is just a craft basic. I decided to show you how to make this today because I couldn't find my pom-pom maker. Now there are other ways of making pom-poms. You can use a fork, you can use a clover pom-pom maker. I'm going to link all all of those below and in the i cards um, but this is the traditional method that i used to do as a child what you need is you need a piece of cardboard like this one and then you need two circular discs now i've used the sort of a medium sized glass but there's also a big one here for a slightly bigger one when you want to determine the size of your pom-pom there are two things you need to consider one is the size of your, uh, the, well, no, not the overall circle. What actually really matters is the distance between your outside circle and your inside circle. I'll show you the inside one in just a sec. So I've got my two basic circles. This is actually going to be medium sized pom pom maker. Then I get a coin and I make another hole in the middle or like a donut. Now, this distance here will show how big your pom-pom is. This in here will determine how fat or how thick your pom-pom is because basically you're allowing more space for more wool. So when you've got your circle, what you do is you cut around like this and then you have your basic, well, one half of your basic cardboard pom-pom, okay? You need two of them like that, exactly the same size. So you take And like I said, this distance makes how big or how you know bigger or smaller your pom-pom is and the center helps determine how fat because if you've got a, a really small center, you can only wrap a little bit of wool around it. If you've got a really, really chubby center, you can wrap more wool. But you kind of have to experiment a little bit, to be honest. As with all our craft, it's all about experimenting. So this is now your basic pom-pom maker. Isn't that great? So now I'll show you how to use it. So I'm gonna put them together doesn't really matter what way. You get your wool. I've got yellow one today for my yellow project. And you start wrapping. This is why we have a gap, because it means you have enough space to wrap your wool. So I'm going to now wrap all the way around. And then when we get to the end, I'm going to show you what to do next. Don't make it too tight, actually, because if you make it tight, the final step's a little bit tricky. Now I think that's about enough. You know, you kind of have to like, um, this is quite thick. You've got quite a few layers there. Um, and I think I am now ready to give this a cut. So you've got your yarn wrapped around or your wool. Now using some smaller scissors, I do love my little stalk scissors, they're so cute. Now you have to split this in half because you've got the two layers. Can you see? And then you cut in between these two bits of card. Can be a bit fiddly and you have to be careful that they don't, you know, like sometimes your pom-poms become a bit loose. That's when you um, maybe want to have a smaller hole, but it should be okay. Make sure they don't fall out the center. Just keep it all in there by gently tucking it back in. Okay. Then you grab your wool and you bring it in like this is make sure these are all nice and tucked in. So this is always the fiddliest bit with all pom pom making techniques is when you come to cutting and wrapping your wool around. So you need to put it in between the two layers. 
like so. There's a bit that wasn't cut. There you go. Bring it round. Now tuck it in to make a knot and give it a really good pull. Okay, now make a, another knot. Here we go, and I'm just gonna wrap it around just one more time for safety, why not? I always like to make things, things are extra tight. Here we go. Ah, oh, it's looking really good already, isn't it? Now, interestingly, I always find that with these ones, my pom-pom does turn out much rounder than if I use a clover. And you pull these off, and there you have your very own pom-pom made using two cardboard rings. Now, if you want to make a smaller pom-pom like this one, do check out the fork method in the iCards down below, or obviously you can make a smaller version of these, but it can get a bit fiddlier. And I think this is a really beautiful size. And I'm gonna show you in another video how to turn this very quickly and simply into an emoji uh, zipper pole or keychain holder. Oh, actually, look at this, sorry. Just a last minute. If you do have any little stray bits like this, you just then trim them away and that makes them look neater. But that's with all pom-pom makers. So anyway, I hope you like this craft basic. We have lots more craft basics here on Red Tadar. Do check them out. And they are all there to help you learn how to craft easier and better. Anyway, see you again soon. Bye.